plaintiff, Jasmine Durham, says the defendant is one of her best friends, and she has always been there for her. Jasmine claims she agreed to help plan a party for the defendant's sister, and the defendant agreed to reimburse her. But she never showed up to the party and never paid. So Jasmine is suing. Defendant Janine Smith says she stopped going out to the clubs after she had children. So when she wanted to have a party for her sister, she asked Jasmine to help. Janine admits she didn't show up to the club that night, but says it was because she had spent the day at a winery. Start with you. Janine is one of my best friends. Uh, we grew up together. We had kids around the same age, so our kids are friends as well. Uh, she's been with me throughout my entire life. Uh, I did go through a divorce, and there was a time uh, where I really leaned on Janine, and she was always there for me. Uh, Post-divorce, I wanted to kind of get out there and have some fun. Uh, Janine is not really a party animal, uh, so it, it was just, you know, me kind of forcing her to just have fun at times. Mm -hmm. uh, she is a very hard worker. She, she takes care of her business. Uh, so I just wanted to remind her that you can kind of do both. Okay. Uh, so within that, uh, we spent my 29th birthday together. We did a booze cruise out in Baltimore. During then, I kind of was pulling her to, you know, just have a little more, bit more fun, dance a little, uh, kind of break out of her shell. Did she enjoy the, her lifestyle? I believe so, yes. Okay, so why were you trying to make her somebody else? Because I wanted her convenience? to have fun. I just... Oh, you wanted her to be with you and you have fun. <laughs> just said, she enjoyed her lifestyle not doing all that. <laughs> she doesn't want to go to the club. She just wanted to be there for you. Ain't nobody crazy. See right through that. <laughs> I wanted to get her out. And I wanted to have fun. <laughs> like the woman is not enjoying her life. That's why I asked you, does she like the way she lives? <laughs> <laughs> do you like your life? I enjoy it. Yeah, she thinks it's horrible. <laughs> she, she thinks she needs to be fun. at the strip club yeah. on the pole or whatever. Did you say that? She she, she likes to dance. Kind of she likes, she likes she's dance a great a dancer. Bit. And yeah, I think I know, you see. <laughs> <laughs> what else you wanted to be? My friend. All oh, right. <laughs> for a lot of your friends though. <laughs> Go out with me when you're not. I know you don't like it. I know your boyfriend don't even want you in the street all the time, but the hell with him. Come on, let's go out, girl. Post-divorce, I wanted to kind of get out there and have some fun. Uh, Janine is not really a party animal, uh, so it, it was just, you know, me kind of forcing her to just have fun at times. Mm -hmm. uh, she is a very hard worker. She, she takes care of her business, uh, so I just wanted to remind her that you can kind of do both. Defendant Janine Smith is being sued by her friend, who claims she helped plan a party for Janine's sister, but Janine and her sister never showed up. Let me hear from you, ma'am, about your lifestyle. She says your lifestyle is horrible. I guess I'm so boring. And she wants to bring you up to, yeah. to party, to turn up. What do you say? I say... I kind of agree with her. I feel like I could come out my shell a little bit more. Why are you in the shell? Why am I in the yes, shell? Yes, ma'am. I just feel like I, when I became a mother, that was just something I focused on. How long have you been a mother? <sighs> 11, go, yeah, going on 12 years. Okay. I have two children, yes. Two then there are 12 is the youngest? Uh, 12 is the oldest. Well, eight. Yeah, 12 is the oldest, eight is the youngest. Eight is the youngest? Yes. All right, and so you think it's time to kind of... Uh, just be at you home. Know, well, okay. I feel like I had my fun at a young age. <laughs> I feel like I experienced a lot. I never really was into the club or anything, so I never looked for doing that. It was just more running the streets type. So when I became a mother, I just felt like it was necessary for me to calm down and focus on being a mother. And now you're ready to go back to the no. Or come out um, and as far and party. As, I'm missing something. No, you just as far as, you know, old, having brunch, know. being older, having brunch, going to brunch. Well, maybe. That's not what she's talking about. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about what she's talking about. Oh, what she's talking about? No, I'm not a club 
type of girl. I've never You're been. Not interested in that. No, Sorry. it doesn't interest me. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry. she, she tried somebody me. else. <laughs> she tricked right. me. I she tried just fun. for her. Oh, I used to be a criminal, and many of my friends are, and they still might want me to be a criminal, but that's not my lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> She's telling you that's not what she wants to do. That's not the lifestyle. That's you. And she used to do it, but she doesn't anymore. She got an eight-year-old at home who she's committed to. You have children? I do. Same ages. Eight and 12, yeah. Eight and 12, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's your values. Her values say don't leave her eight-year-old at home to go party. <laughs> so that's, don't try to put your values on her. Now, what happened here? So, being as though my kids are with their father on the weekend, I do have some free time to enjoy myself. Are your kids with your father? On the weekend, just okay. yes. So, uh, Janine wanted to throw an event, so she reached out to me in order to plan this event. She was coming. What event? What so, it was her sister's birthday. Okay. So, a party for her sister. And in the beginning of March, uh, she basically stated... Uh, she had a few plans, but as far as the party goes, she wanted me to organize that, uh, which I was more than happy to do. I was even excited that she wanted to do such a thing. And I, it wasn't my idea, it was her idea. So as soon as she approached me regarding the party, I went into planning mode. What did you agree to do? I agreed to get us all a table um, at a club. Uh, it's called Hashtag Lounge in Alexandria. Um, I put the deposit down on the club. How much? Uh, the deposit was $103. And then the actual table, after everything all said and done, uh, would be $719. Wow. How many people? Uh, it was going to be about six. OK. And so what was the agreement on you spending that money and getting repaid? Based on our conversation uh, that she and I had, it would be half. OK. Yeah. And what did happen? She never showed up. Oh. For the party? For the party. Yeah. Right. We went I'm to... i to tell you. I keep trying to tell you. <laughs> I keep trying to tell you. <laughs> did the sister show up? No one showed up. Oh. And it was her idea. It wasn't my idea. I didn't initiate did club. Did you ever talk to the sister? It was afterwards, yes. Mm -hmm. What did the sister say? She had no clue. It was a surprise, so I couldn't okay. even have mentioned it. It was a surprise. Right. All right, and you didn't talk to any of the other uh, attendees? Everyone was with her who was uh, expected to attend. a different way? Right. They went to, oh. so we all met up at a winery before that. So they didn't know about coming to the club? Only Janine knew. Is that true? Yes. Well, who was the party? Is this going to be the two of you? No, it was, I had originally hit her up to um, have a surprise party mm -hmm. for my sister. Mm -hmm. The winery she knew about, mm -hmm. but as far as going to the club, that was supposed to be a surprise. Yeah, the six people, though, did they know? Oh, no, they did not know. What, what would make them come to a club <laughs> on their friend's birthday? Because we're, we're family. No, but... And they didn't know, though, that what they would be coming to the club for. No, they didn't. That's why I'm asking you, how can you expect somebody to be somewhere when they haven't been informed? It was my fault. I told them we were going to go I'm somewhere to see else. how you think, so, too, because this is a weird... <laughs> no, they know we were... a weird thinking process. Hold on, ma'am. You just can't talk I'm over sorry. me. Sorry, because you, your thoughts are a little off in terms of judgment and decision-making. Once again, how can you expect six people to join you and they've never been invited and they don't know where you're at? What were you thinking? Well, it was only three of us. It, All right. It, that's, that's all right. Uh, but, uh, that's all right. No, but Let me get back to you. <laughs> Defendant Janine Smith is being sued by her friend, who claims she helped plan a party for Janine's sister, but Janine and her sister never showed up. How does she owe you the hotel room and party? It's because she didn't show up? That's correct. And when you spoke to her, what did she say? The reason for not coming. She said she and things didn't go as planned. Okay, did she agree that she would pay you for the expenses that you put out? 
No. <laughs> okay. And that's why you're suing her today? That's correct. Okay. Um, she never s denied or refused to pay you? Right. She did not. You mean at that anytime, time? Anytime. Anytime. Uh, we had a conversation about it, and she didn't expect to have to pay for the whole thing. So I would say, yes, she did deny. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to did know she, if you meant She that. never agreed to pay you? No. Anything? Mm -hmm. Half, yes. Okay. Yeah, yes. you told me that. And right. When, uh, so that's what you're suing for, half? No, I, I think I'm due the whole amount. Oh, why? Because I wouldn't even have been there had she not asked me to plan it. Okay, and you were going to pay half? How much would that have been? Half would have been 1759 okay. divided by two. You didn't stay? No. Uh, they came out. Well, how did the bill go up to that? Because when you buy the table, the bottle service, you have to do a two bottle minimum. Mm -hmm. So being as though I had the table, I had no choice but to buy the bottle. I know, but did you stay? Until 12 and then I left, yes. And, and you drank? As much as I could. And you enjoy yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I didn't care. <laughs> so my point is you drank your money. Yes. <laughs> no, I didn't drink How about that? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you that's wanna talk not slick. You drank your money, you stayed there. Yeah. What are you talking about? You stayed there, did you tip? Absolutely. How much? $400. For what? For my bottle service. Oh, so you did get served. To get a tip, you come over all the time. You want some more to drink? Here I come. You want some more cups? Here I come. Can, this person says, can I come join you in your section? Because they see there, there are seats open. And I know how it goes, ma'am. And so you sat there. You didn't leave. You didn't reduce the amount you would have paid. You could have left. You're and reduce the tip for sure. You wouldn't have to get nobody $400 for a tip if you left. May I? Yeah. So, Your Honor, the club these days, they just put the bottles down and you pour it yourself. The reason I tip so high... Grandma left three clubs in the last six months. How about that? So okay. these days, my children take me with them to the places they go. And so I know how the club goes. They just set the things there? Yeah. Okay. And so you definitely shouldn't have given her $400. Keep Why would you do that and all they're doing is setting on there? You give people tips when they pour it for you. I'll, Man, I'll tell you, you why. I'll tell to? you why. I got you. I got you. Because I'll give I was you. there alone and they had to be my friends for the night. I got you, ma'am. I got you. They, <laughs> I got you. First, they didn't do it at all. First, they just said it there. Yeah. Now they were your friends. They had to hang so out with you. So you enjoyed and... yourself with friends. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, ma'am, you did not leave. You enjoyed yourself. You received services from them. Now you're telling me you had friends there that you enjoyed yourself with that couldn't leave because you needed them to do what? Hang out. All right. Hey. Which is what you do. And just because she don't want to do all that, you want to sue her? You stayed there and partied. I give you half your money. Fourteen fifty-nine divided by two. Okay. Because, yes, I believe that you're entitled to something, but you could have what we call mitigate your damages. Go 730. ahead. 730. 730 is a judgment. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, and I'm sorry I didn't show up, but you know I'm not a partier. I love you, too. Can we hug? <laughs>